all right guys welcome to laravel react redux series and in previous video we installed every everything and we show this laravel default default web page in our local host okay in this video uh we are going to set up our react our react okay um in our laravel so for that uh we'll open our visual studio code and open our project folder here okay open folder and our is this all right so let's open it yeah it's good now now we'll use terminal of this all right this you know visual studio code you can go here and go to terminal and we'll say so we want to set up um, react yeah so let's say composer composer require uh ui let's let's go to our documentation i'll show you <laughs> i also forgot okay all right let's open local list here so we have to do php artisan serve to open to open in browser okay let's let's refresh yeah uh, so let's see react preset let's say preset only preset yeah front end scaffolding and in here we see using react all we have to do is composer equal laravel slash ui mm. so let's let's do that laravel slash ui it will add some folder and file in our vendor folder uh, it isn't here right now uh yeah you can see here in laravel you don't need this just to show you i'm i'm just showing you okay and it'll add a ui maybe ui folder uh it's while it's making let's see what 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 are the next step you we can do we can do php artisan ui react uh, if you want authentication scaffolding like login form from ui we can do that but we are not using any login here so let's let's use this line to to make uh front end uh using react okay now yeah, uh, it, it, it is made maybe I don't know where is UI folder. Somewhere I don't know. Alright, now now let's do that. Okay, let's paste that line. Come PSP artisan UI React. Now we can do npm install and again npm run they will do it next time and it'll it'll make okay our front end from you know we can see that here in resources js here we can see okay and we have to you know do something here in web.php let's go in routes web.php we can add a line uh, let's remove this we'll say route view and we'll do you have to do like this and we want to say app view okay all right and and after that let's make app app blade okay in our views so let's rename this Re let's rename this let's say this um, app app little blade okay all right and after that, we'll remove everything from here and what was there nothing yeah and we'll give uh exclamation mark and press tab and we'll get that and we'll need our our js okay so let's import that script source is equals to js slash this app all right app the js 
and we'll close this tag we'll say script right and here we'll say use up uh, uh, we'll say div i'll show you that later because uh, let's go in app it is using our example component let's go in example component inside here so you can see this this is nothing but a function uh, using JSX okay and it is telling get element by ID we'll say app we'll say app we'll rename this example to app uh, but but we'll do that uh, a little bit later and let's go here and we, we want to show here uh, that thing so let's say ID is equals to app so it'll all it'll do is uh, so this example component in app uh, app ID which is app ID so this is here so ID is app all right so so after finishing this we'll do that all right uh, let me stop the video for a while it's going to be longer all right guys I have I have my my npm install completed and I run uh, and it, it left some packages okay I don't know why uh, it, it, it is saying my operating system is not compatible and I run npm run dip and now it has started okay and let's say npm run watch you have to do this so that our changes will be reflected in browser all right so let's do this and and let's see if it something happens all right all right let's see uh, example component it's it is showing but it is not showing bootstrap okay let's let's grab bootstrap cd and uh, actually uh yeah let's do bootstrap but later we'll be using um uh, materialite css okay uh, you can use any of them but i'm just gonna use that um so let's copy this all right and let's let's paste it here all right and let's also say our title change our title name okay let's say laravel react redux all right let's do this here yeah you can see that yeah our everything is good now now you can see here our react dev tool is working maybe so easier okay it is saying page using development build of react it is development yeah not production all right and now and now what we want to do is let's install some dependencies of you know react we'll say npm install react redux also let's let's do first redux redux all our different packages okay react uh, and we'll have a node underscore module folder uh, in which everything will be there it's very heavy you know react redux uh redux tank for middleware uh, actually react uh, redux uh, is different and react redux is different okay so because uh they react and redux just both fits perfectly okay uh redux tank will need uh, dev tool uh, react uh, redux redux dev tool extension redux dev tools extension all right and uh, um, redux dev tool extension and what also react router react dom react router dom i think this this much will need okay that much uh so it'll also take time uh maybe a few minutes and and after that uh we'll be uh we'll be you know using maybe we'll use materialite css to make our front end uh front end and after that We'll make our front end form to post, okay, and uh, and 
also we have to make our API uh, in Laravel so that our request will be handled by Laravel. Uh, it's 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 installed okay, pretty fast, okay. And now, okay, let's um what we have to do now. Let's start making our you know in next video we'll be making our um backend okay backend API. So we'll have to use our uh, api.php to you know have all our api inside here and we'll make api and to save uh, we'll have controller so next video we'll be doing that uh we'll so we'll be just posting you know uh user uh we have to we can do like uh whenever a visitor visit our website he can uh, enter his name and a post and that will be reflected you know down below okay and in in you know latest first okay uh, in that manner and and we'll see that uh without refreshing the page okay uh and we'll do that by using redux okay using actions and using dispatch all right and like that and we'll have many components we'll see that in upcoming section okay i don't want to talk everything in this video okay so that's reacted setup okay so and uh, other dependencies are set up so we'll, we'll, we'll i'll see you in next video